What's going on, y'all? This is your Married to Medicine, Season 4, Episode 7. Let's get on to this shit, shall we, y'all? You can't bring these girls together. I know y'all out there playing Vince and shit. Don't waste your time. Quad, you tried to have at least somewhat of a good party for your husband. These hoes are ungrateful and basically they don't appreciate nothing nice. I don't know if I want to get on Toya or Mariah ass first. Let's just go ahead. Now, Toya, you owe about, I don't know the exact number, but honey, you owe the IRS money. Your husband basically had to convince you we need to get the fuck out this house so we can at least scrounge up enough money to at least pay the IRS. I guess the minimum payment for them to leave y'all the fuck alone that month. However, y'all got it going already. I got a payment plan going. Or however y'all doing the shit. Toy, you grow the fuck up. How in the goddamn blue hell? You still trying to live like you this grand bitch. You trying to live like you this grand bitch. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Thanking you all that. All that went out the window, honey, when the IRS came knocking at your door. You got a lot of damn nerves. And get up and get you a goddamn job. And if you work to your children, leave it to your children to come home. So what? That's a piece of job. You can contribute to the IRS dead. Because it probably is all your fucking, well, it's part of your fault too. What yours is his, meaning it's both of y'all fault. So what's too good for your ass to get up and get you a damn job or something? And you don't want to leave this house. Then Janine's out the goodness of her heart attempted to try to find you like a nice, decent kind of house that at least help you out somewhere, or I should say at least try to show the IRS that I'm scared, I see they mean business, let me try to do better by any mean fucking necessary. She tried, you denied it, basically. Girl. How in the goddamn blue hell, your friend Janice, the real estate agent, she best to try to make it calmly and peaceful and nice to you as possible. Paying for a limo, you drive around in style looking at houses. Honey, if you stand on the worst side of town all fucking well, just get your ass out that house. And Toya, you use all along grateful little old helper. How the fuck your friend doing this, doing your nice job for your ungrateful ass having her to have a damn thing of what you need and what you want in order for you to buy this house? I got to have five bedrooms. I got to have a big yard front and back. Do you want a fucking pool too, I get it? You want five bedrooms and what you got? Two, three kids? So what you need with five bedrooms for? A five bedroom house for? You want upstairs and downstairs too? Do you want a nice dick? Like, come on, Toya. You can't be this goddamn dumb and this goddamn stupid. And you got to trust me and believe me. When you owe the IRS money, they're looking at your ass with a magnifying glass and watching every damn thing you do. Trust and believe. I guarantee the IRS watching this show and watching everything you do, meaning buying stuff you shouldn't need, like that $50 t-shirt you wanted for $50 damn dollars. Then your friend tried to make you downgrade. Now you want these needs that must be met to order you to buy a house. Toya, somebody just need to slap the living fuck out of you. Just slap, I mean, not the hell out of you and tell you to grow up and snap out of it. You seriously need to come back down to earth. You thinking you this grand bitch, you thinking you way up here, but you're really somewhere in the middle down here. You right, best right here to almost down here. I know you ain't never had no money. I know that's a foreign concept of you downgrading, trying to meet your needs for the IRS and leave you alone and won't come knock at your door. But 
I already learned my lesson now. I hope they don't corner my door. Bad enough, you should be fucking embarrassed that you got the IRS tapping at your damn door and then you on a TV show. That ought to show you right there. You should be plumb embarrassed by that. Plum embarrassed to be on TV and got the IRS tap tap tapping at your damn door saying, come on, you going with us. But then you're going to talk about something. I got needs and I got wants. So you either grow up or go to prison. Your choice, you're going to be like Teresa Judice, her, her husband. They, what, they stole or were covering assets or whatever happened to them and they got arrested and spent all that time with for their children. You want to be Nance? Keep doing what you're doing and watch you be Nance. Um, Mariah, let's get your ass together too. Mariah, what the hell is wrong with you? And why can't you let this shit happen season three, season two, and season one with the girls telling you they don't want you around because you don't do nothing to start fucking shit. But yet, you feel some type of way because Quad told your ass don't show up. And then you will, oh, I guess I'm not inviting. Oh, I know Quad was somebody. I'm glad she's showing her true colors. Now, that would have been me and she didn't want me around. I would have took offense to that. Oh, well, you right. We got problem. We need to work on. We need to talk and discuss. What the hell is like coming to my friend party and coming to her party, even though, her, 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 even though your husband and her husband is friends? So what? Better yet, better yet, I would have told my husband, you know what? I'm not invited. But you go ahead, give my love to the girls or whatnot. I would have let Aiden at least win, but I wouldn't have showed my black ass up. And I got that long test message telling me, basically, do not show your ass at my event. Don't come here. Don't pull up in the driveway. Don't even much get dressed. Don't even put on your hand makeup. Don't do nothing. Don't come to, basically, don't come to my fucking event. That's basically what she told you in that text message. So you're going to show your ass in the way. And then now you all dramatic and, oh, I'm shocked. Oh, she told me to go. Oh, we friends. Did you really think after the stunt you pulled on the last episode that she really, you thought she was playing when she sent you that text message? And then you come bringing your ass to the damn event. It Mariah, stop playing victim and stop holding on to shit that happened back in season three, season two, and season one. It's time to let that shit go and quit beating that dead horse. Honey, ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you. At least not, I'm not gonna feel sorry for her. Cause Mariah, you have done a lot to every one of them damn girls. You least did something or made them feel some type of way. So I don't know why you so shocked and surprised that they shunned your ass away from the group. You literally deserved it. Cause you were starting shit every time you went to an event. You started shit. Hell, you even slapped the shit out of arm toy with your damn purse. Episode one of season one. You remember? You hit her with your damn purse, that hard ass purse you had. You swung it at her face. Lid about took the nail out and about knocked her wig off. That was a wig on her head. So you really think that that girl invite, not inviting you to that girl, you really took it that person and you really had to take it that far? See, see, Mariah, you make it hard for people not to um feel sorry for you because the shit you pull, you sat there and read the text message in front of Aiden, you sat there and heard whatever word she said. Do not show your ass at this event. You are uninvited. Don't bother putting on your hair, makeup, your dress, none of that. Don't put on your girl or skirt. Don't do it, nothing. Don't show up. And you still decide to bring your ass down there and come, up, come to the party. When you just got a text message saying, do not bring your ass to my husband party because you're not fucking invited. Oh, and she got her little rent of cops here, her huh? S me out the car. Mariah, you get what you deserve. And then you do plan on being nice to these girls are playing nice. You got to let that season's past shit go. 
and move the fuck on. I thought this new beginners part that you started this this season was to let all grievances go, let the old shit go, come in with love for the new shit. Now nah, you come back in all seasons past back in the past. And don't nobody want to deal with that shit. Quiet over it, messing all the girls over that shit. Leave it alone, let it go. But I see that's just your storyline. Keep on bragging up the ghost of girlfriend's past or something. I don't know why you won't let it go. And then you want to play victim because that man escorting you all a damn spread. I would have did the same damn thing too. I sent you that text message as a courtesy telling you not to come. Now, that's a different story. She wouldn't have called or texted you and told you not to come. And then you all shocked when you got there. She best have told you verbatim in the damn text message. You are uninvited. Please don't show up trying to get in here, because I'm pretty sure you probably would have showed your ass. But Dr. Heaven and Lisa Nicole did that for you. Then Janice bringing up Toya shit, talking about she ungrateful. They tried to ruin that. That's why I'm glad Kwa said, no, uh uh. Janice, I mean, Toya, come over this way. Janice, shut up. Like, y'all. <sighs> Y'all can't get along to say y'all fucking lives. Yes, it's good for TV, but y'all need to grow up. All y'all. I'm not blaming everybody. I'm not blaming just one person. I'm saying this to all y'all. Lisa Nicole, Dr. Heavenly, Toya, Mariah, Quad sometimes. Dr. Simone, you do you got a man, you have an opinion too when your ass told a lot of you to talk. I'm talking about all y'all to let the star shit in the vest. All y'all, not some of y'all, all y'all. Janice, wrong time, wrong, wrong place, wrong time. You did not have to bring that up there. And bestly, tore your best and paid your ass does. Sat there. What you say, bitch? Now, I know you talk to Toya in or you communicate with her somehow before that damn party. What was your big idea you bringing it up there, trying to embarrass her in front of the girls by bringing it up at that woman party? Janice, you just as messy as the rest of them. You will fit in perfectly. I was wondering a little iffy about you, but nah, you just as messy as these other women. You will fit in perfectly. Listen to Colin, um... Heavenly had to get into it and the thing. But before we get to that party where I'm going to end it at, let's rewind it back. Listen to Cole. Okay, now you've been on this show for season two through four, I think. Yeah, season two through four. Yeah, season two through four. Okay, you might have had us con convince and fool that you were just some kind of relationship expert and you was this, that, and all that, and you were just dog a bone and you was all this and you do these women conventions. You might have had us fool season two to um season two to three, but was well, seasons um season two and possibly no season two and half of season three till your husband find out he gay or is he not a it's in the area that he gave us great. I, me, practically, I don't care. If you can sleep with that man and know, enjoy your marriage, son, what it is, and knowing your husband might be that way and may he not, that's your bed to lay in. It ain't for me to lay in. It ain't for me to judge. Whatever help you sleep at night trying to throw a baby on that man that he don't want, that's your business. Ain't none of my business. But listen to Cole. Please stop throwing your damn women conventions. Don't nobody want to hear you. All I got to do is look at this show. I better say, oh, hell no. Who event? Listen to Cole. I see her on my TV talking about her husband may or may not be gay. She going through marriage advice herself. She trying to throw a baby on her husband. Now, why the hell would I want to take advice from her? What? What advice you going to give me at this event? How to have a husband with a man that may or may not be gay. How to possibly bring the baby in a marriage trying to hold on to my marriage by bringing in about the baby in this mess. How to avoid or try to play it off like my husband may not be gay or bisexual or straight. Listen to God, what the hell are you going to teach these people at these events? I'm confused. 
you throwing these events, then Dr. Helmley come in when you getting ready to set up the damn event. Basically, this one man you went to, he wants $7,000. I think that's it, $7,000 just for what? The appearance of the damn event. And Dr. Helmley said, you know, I got money like that. But I ain't willing to throw that type of money in just for no damn event that me and you may or may be going in. Who you trying to impress yourself? $7,000 for what? Just to walk in and see a room look nice. It's like, oh, this room look nice. I, I, I like this. Oh, I like the painting. Oh, that's cute. Well, what for the room can look nice? You playing out... Listen, Nicole, give it up. Your gag is up now. Your, your gas and guilt is up. Them damn women convincing and all that you be throwing. Yeah, it was a good run. Yeah, your ass should have said I just got there. I'm sure you want to continue to come. Now that the cat out the bag, I wouldn't try to throw in another event. Because all they got to do is look at this show. And they see they're the last person they want to take advice from is your ass. With your damn husband that may or may not be trying to run for the nearest exit time out of divorce. Or he might be running to somebody else, um, aka meaning maybe a man Nissan and Cody, just give it up. And I'm with I'm with heavily on that. You all did all this money for an event for what? What exactly are you spending all this money for? I know you like to have big ass scrap in events. Yes, I know you couldn't afford it with your fair fashion lines and your other shit you got going for your companies and your business and your dressing and all that. Yes, I know you can do it, but honey, ain't nobody gonna put that kind of money on no goddamn event. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't know nobody with their right mind gonna do some shit like that. But okay, you go right on ahead and do that. Now fast forward back. <coughs> oh shit! Now fast forward back to the party. Okay, Janice and Toya got into it. Then here come, I want to say, Dr. Heavenly started the shit about some shit. Listen, Nicole said about Dr. Jackie and the other girls in the group. And yes, you did say that, Um, Listen, Nicole, don't act like you didn't say it. We heard it. We saw it. And you up there that day, you and the, before you and Dr. Heavenly got into it that day, y'all in the office, you did say some snide shit at Dr. Jackie. You did say some snide shit at Dr. Simone. You did say some snide shit about everybody in this group and how they thinking they all this and that. And yes, you did talk down about, um, Talk down to um, I told you about the IRS and her problems too. So yes, Dr. Heaven did bring that up, but Dr. Heaven, you a messy bitch for doing it, cause that was the wrong place, wrong time too. Janice the second. Well, what can we expect out of Dr. Heaven? She is a messy bitch. And I saw she know how to do it, spread shit. And yes, I do think Dr. Heaven do got a drink a damn problem. And yes, what nobody fool thinking that cup was full with coffee. Cause they nobody put a rock around with no hot cup of coffee like that as much as you did. You mean a hot coffee with some alcohol in it? Yeah, cause I know some people put calm, have a cup of coffee with alcohol in it. You wasn't fooling nobody. At least in the cold, but. <laughs> Trying to say you an alcoholic. So that's why I got to heaven and was talking all that shit. But, um, my, um, um, uh, hold on. So, yes, I do believe that she was talking all that shit because um, Dr. Heavenly had a little few drinks of her since so the choir having that little board, that little bathroom, I mean, bath, that little birthday event for her husband. So, I'm sure, <laughs> Toya, stop trying to play Captain Save a hole. You let, um, you let Nisa the Cole sink by herself. Let her sink and fall on her own damn self. I don't know why she like to argue with these women. She try, but she always fall. Every goddamn time she try to argue with somebody. Basically, Nisa the Cole funny to laugh at, in my opinion. You try to come for all these girls, but every time you try, you fall flat on your pretty face. Just like um, Dr. Heavenly ass going to break up that shit. Then you're going to talk about so she got a fucking dragon problem. 
<laughs> oh shit! She got a fucking drinking problem. So quiet, calm that down and tell them I told y'all to come with y'all smiles. Smiles, please. Smiles. Come smile and don't come with the shit, basically. That's what she told y'all. And yeah, that's about it. But 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 about it by this little miss ass episode. I ain't even about to put in no notes or nothing. Just basically memory him. Anyway though, y'all, that was the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about tonight's episode. Y'all have y'all self a good night and Merry Christmas to y'all. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.